Hello, my name is John Swatton. I'm a solution engineer with Viavi Solutions. Today I'm going to give you a brief overview of a DWDM OTDR mounted on a T-Bird 2000. First off, I see on the top of my unit I have a visual fault locator. So in order to use that, I would go under settings, select whether I wanted a continuous wave or a 1 hertz pulse rate. Once that's selected, I go ahead and select it. Now if I look at the top of my OTDR, or top of my T-Bird 2000, I see the VFL coming out. Go ahead and hit cancel on the front face of the OTDR and it gets you out of that. When I'm using this OTDR or any OTDR, most important in using an OTDR is to inspect and clean both the fiber jumper you're going to use as well as the port on the OTDR that you're going to plug that fiber into. So I'll plug the P5000i in and I'm going to go ahead and inspect my ports. So I take my probe, select the correct tip, insert it into the OTDR port, focus it, and then hit the test button. I'm going to go run a test, verify that my connector's clean, and it is. Not done yet, now i got to inspect and possibly clean the fiber jumper I'm going to plug into that port. So I go ahead and hit the test button again, and it goes to live. Go ahead and focus that fiber. Focus on that end face. I go ahead and test. Okay, again, it did pass. So now I can unplug my fiber from my scope, my fiber jumper, plug my test jumper into the OTDR port, and I'm ready to go. Go ahead and hit the home button again, and it takes me back out. Now I have an expert OTDR that gives me the ability to change all the different parameters associated with an OTDR. Or we have a smart test OTDR, which is just a very simple OTDR. It's a test auto start kind of OTDR. With both of these OTDRs, and when I'm working with a DWDM or a CWDM OTDR for that matter, start with this expert OTDR. It's imperative that you select the correct wavelength before hitting start. So I come over here, open the OTDR, hit setup. Check the wavelength. In my case, I will be doing testing on channel 21, which is 1560.61 nanometers. I would select that, and then I would go ahead and hit start. I'm going to go to the home screen. On the Smart Test OTDR, I click on it. Go ahead and hit setup. Again, verify what wavelength I want to use on the OTDR. So I would scroll through these. <clears throat> Select channel 21, which is 1560.61 nanometers. Select my distance. Go ahead and hit start. The third option on this particular OTDR <clears throat> is a tunable laser source. So I can use that same OTDR port, port to select different wavelengths. So in this scenario, if I don't own a specific wavelength, but I do want to test a MUX that I'm putting in for a future upgrade, a channel that I don't have yet, but the MUX can handle it, I can select that wavelength here by stepping through them. Or if I want a quick path, I can go ahead and hit Setup. wavelength and go ahead and pick what channel I'm going to go ahead and test. So channel 21, go ahead and hit results, laser on. Now my laser is shooting 1560.61 nanometers and I can go ahead and check with an optical spectrum analyzer at the other end the wavelengths that I don't have. Watch for other videos on how to use the OTDR 
in expert mode and then another video on how to use the DWDM OTDR in smart test mode. Thank you. Have a good day.